Yeah. It's very crazy because you are eating the lamb that you confess, that your entire, that your father and the family confess. So this is also in the middle of the sacrifice of this altar. After all this narration, uh, you know, about the Pinacote, we are right in the most important space for us, that is the Midra garden. Why? Because you are right a place where, for us, museums sometimes forgot that they could be gardens. Remember that Museo del Prado I told you before, they were, the, the pre-Museo del Prado start with this botanical, the plants, the paintings of pastas, the minerals were coming together. And this is the most important. So why the knowledge it was segregated? Science, you know, nature. Why cannot be together? Why we cannot be in a very... Oh, there. there is? I don't understand. There are two words. So what she's got, she, what, what Sandra made here is to create inside the Museum of Agada. Usually you have a patio of sculptures. But she invited the ones that they are not in our history. You know, the monuments that they belong to, 11 monuments that are still there are in the different cities. You know, this is uh, in Uruguay, La Pulatu Philippines, Julio, the famous Guadalupe, the people forgot that Guadalupe was a first of French, was a, a, a Spanish uh, uh, island, was a colonial. You know, what are the ruins from Buenos Aires, uh, in Mexico, the Mapuches of the Chiquila woman, the famous, this is Salvador de Bahia. They are monuments that these are the migrants that she wants to invite to live with us. And all the knowledge from Africa descender, indigenous knowledge, are also in relation to the ways of Western. They, this is a cohabitation in between both. And also each one has a plants. What are these plants? They are invasive plants. Plantas invasoras, who the Spaniards brought from the different colonies in order to do an ecosystem right now. So what you have here is the text. If you see the migrant, the migrant, uh, the migrant, the last, this is the last space, the migrant garden doesn't speak that the Pinacotec way or the Pinacoteca. This is other knowledge, even other language. You have here Quechua from behind, come, come, come to read it. So you have Quechua, you have Creole, uh, uh, you have What does it mean? These figures that they were so important in relation to the independence of the different countries that the people, even in Spain and in Europe, doesn't know who they are. If you ask me, who is, for example, uh, uh, Los Andares, no? Subido Andares, that in Brazil is so important, the people doesn't know. But if you want to do it, the people, few people will know. And they were, or she was, you know, she was a wife of Tupacamari. She was really the one who mistook Paramaro to fight against the Spanish. But this history, she was killed, she was dismembered the bodies in front of her son. I mean, the history, all these histories are very traumatic. So this is an homage, but also it's a way to bring it inside the museum, not only other, each one will present other knowledges and other communities that we have to acquire to be restrained in order to coabitate the human and non-humans, plants, you can listen also these spices, sometimes birds, insects, in relation to the textiles, and in relation to these, there are so many writers that some of the texts that you saw in the pages of these books, plus other ones. So the people here can take, if you want, is the way to do it. You can take a blanket, you can stay, and you can read a book or to play. We have also for the kids, it's going to be uh, a seat. You know, she's painting seats. So the kids, you can take, you know, you can take the garden home. This is very important also for us. It's this notion that we are not creating this knowledge for now, also for the future, in order to stop the present that we have in different uh, urgencies, not only climate change, processing, etc. So, thank you.